Hello everyone, welcome to Hedway Civil Online Study. Today we'll be solving questions on soil phase relationship. So the first question is, a soil sample having a void ratio of 1.3, water content as 50% specific gravity of 2.60 is in a state on. So here we need to find out the value of S, which is the degree of saturation, to find out the state of the soil. Okay, so since we have been provided with E, water content and specific gravity, we know E, W and G. So we need to find out what is S and we know the equation GW is equals to AC. Substituting the values that is GW and E, we can find out the value of S. So G has been provided as 2.60, W has been provided as 50% which is 0 0.50 and E has been provided as 1.3. Substituting the values will get a says 1 or we can see equals to 100 percent so it will be in full saturation. The next question is the water content of a soil can be since we already know water content is actually equals to weight of water by weight of solids and we know weight of water can be greater than weight of solids so weight of water by weight of solids can be greater than 1 or we can say greater than 100 percent so we can write W can be greater than 100 percent this is possible. Right. Next, if the voids of a soil mass are full of air only, for example, if you are considering this solid particles and the void is filled up completely with air, there is no water present in the void. That means my phase diagram will get converted into a two-phase diagram comprising of air and solids. So we can say this is as a dry soil. Which will be no, which have, which will have no water present in it. So the answer will be C. Next number four, a soil sample of mass specific gravity of 1.92 and moisture content of 30 percent. If the specific gravity of solid is 2.75, find out the degree of saturation. Here, specific gravity we mean to say is what is actually equals to the gamma of that particular substance divided by gamma of water. Here mass specific gravity means what? Mass here means the soil mass. That means the total mass of the soil. So here the mass specific gravity will be equals to gamma mass or we can say as gamma bulk divided by gamma w. So this value has been provided to us as 1.92. We have been provided moisture content as 0 0.30 converting it into decimal. Specific gravity of solids has been provided as 2.75 and we need to find out degree of saturation. Fine. So we know that gamma bulk or gamma mass is equals to G plus AC by 1 plus E into gamma W. Since here we have not been provided with the value of E and AC is also not known. So Another equation we have GW is equals to AC. So we'll substitute the value of GW in place of AC. So we can write G as common 1 plus W by 1 plus E into gamma W. So this is my gamma bulk. So I'm bringing this gamma W below this gamma bulk which will come out to be equals to gamma bulk by gamma W is equals to G into 1 plus W by 1 plus E. So gamma bulk by gamma W, this is this value, which is 1.92, which has already been provided. G here means the G solids, which is 2.75. 1 plus W, W is 0 0.30 divided by 1 plus E. So here E will come out to be equals to 2.75 into 1.30 divided by 1.92 minus 1. If you calculate this portion, you will get E value as 0 0.862. Now, since we already got the E value, now we can use this equation GW is equals to AC to find out the value of S. So, G has been provided. Remember, while providing, while um, putting the values, this G will be the G of the solids, okay, which is this value, 2.75. So, 2.75 into W will be the water content which is 0 0.30 divided by the value of E which came as 0 0.862. So substituting the values you will get the value of A as 95.7%. So the answer will be D. Next moving on to the question 
The water content of a soil is defined as the ratio of, since water content we already know is equal to weight of water divided by weight of solids. So the answer will be D, which is weight of water to weight of solids of a given soil mass. Right. The next question is, a soil has a bulk density. Bulk density means gamma bulk, which is equal to 1.80 gram per cc. Water content has been provided as 50%. I'm writing it in decimal 0 0.05. And void ratio has been told as constant. Okay, let this be the first case. In the second case, the bulk density for a water content of 10% we need to determine. So we need to determine the bulk density. So water content has been provided as 0 0.10. E is also same. Let this be the second case. Okay, from the first case, since we know one equation, gamma D is equals to gamma by 1 plus W, first determine this portion. What is gamma? It's 1.80. And what is 1 plus 0 0.05? If you substitute this value, you'll find out, uh, you'll find out the value of gamma D as coming as 1.71 gram per cc. Since we already have this gamma D, Substitute this gamma D portion in the next equation. So we'll again use this equation itself, but here we'll write Here we'll find out what is gamma. So gamma we can write as gamma D into 1 plus W So gamma D which we already got it from the first equation that is 1.71 into 1 plus W W is something which we got which will be using from the second equation which is 0 0.10 and this will come out to be equals to 1.88 gram per cc. So my answer will be option B, which is 1.88 gram per cc. Next. The next question is, a soil sample has a mass-specific gravity. So the same way which we did one sum earlier, this has got a mass-specific gravity as 1.92, which is equals to gamma bulk divided by gamma water. Okay, next we have been provided moisture content as 30%, which is 0 0.30. Specific gravity of solids provided as 2.75. And we need to find out E value. Okay, whenever you get such equation where E and S both are not being provided, always remember we'll use this equation. That G into 1 plus W by 1 plus E into gamma W. Okay, bringing this gamma W below gamma bulk so gamma bulk divided by gamma w which is given as 1.92 so it's 1.92 equals to g this g will be the gs value which is 2.75 into 1 plus 0 0.30 divided by 1 plus e so e will come out to be equals to 2.75 into 1.30 divided by 1.92 minus of 1 where e will get the value as 0 0.862 fine so the answer will be option c next question tells an unsaturated 100 centimeter cube sample that means we have been given the volume of soil sample as 100 cc soil weighs 190 gram that means the weight of the soil let it be the capital W has been provided as 190 gram. If the dry weight, that means the dry weight has been provided as 160 gram, the water content we need to determine. Now, what is water content? Water content is actually weight of water by weight of solids. First, let us draw the three-phase diagram. The three-phase diagram of soil comprises of air, water and solids. So, I am writing here. This is my water and this is solids so here let us represent it in terms of volume so we'll get the total volume as 100 cc which is already being provided and here water and solids has been provided so weight of air has been provided uh sorry weight of air is zero so weight of air is zero we don't have any weight the total weight will comprise of weight of solids and water which has been provided as 190 grams so this portion is 190 gram the weight of dry weight means what? There will be no water weight. This is actually the weight of solids that has been provided, right? So weight of solids has been provided as equals to 160 gram. So we need to find out the weight of water. So weight of water will be this portion. So 190 minus 160, right? 
So weight of water will be equals to 190 gram minus of 160 gram which will come out to be 30 grams. Now water content will get will get as weight of water we already know that is 30 divided by weight of solids we already know the weight of solids as 160 right this will come out to be equals to 0 0.188 so it has been asked to find out the answer in decimal so the answer will be a in such question first try to draw the three phase diagram then only you can find out the answer very easily fine so the next question tells when the degree of saturation is 0 that means the A's value is 0 and A's value we know is equals to volume of water that is by volume of voids. That means what we are doing is we are making the volume of water as 0 then only the A's value will be 0. Right. Since volume of water is 0 that means the soil mass is filled up with the voids that is filled completely with air. That means it will be a two phase system comprising of air and solids. There is no water is present. So it will be two phase system with air and solids. So with two phase system with soil and air, the answer will be B. Here actually it will be solids, but anyhow it has been given as soil, so it will be soil and air. Okay. So the next question is a partially saturated sample has a unit weight. Unit weight of a sample has been given as 2 gram per cc. Specific gravity of the soil particles has been given as 2.60. Moisture content has been provided as 0 0.20. We have been asked to find out the degree of saturation. So again, the same formula that, we'll, that we will use since E has been not been provided and W has been provided, we'll put this equation G into 1 plus W by 1 plus E into gamma W. Now gamma has been provided as gram per cc. So unit weight of water we know is actually 1000 kg per meter cube or we can write as 1 gram per cc. So since the gamma is in provided in gram per cc, we'll put this value as 1 gram per cc. So 2 by 1. So I'm bringing this gamma w below this, okay? So 2.60, 1 plus w is 0 0.20 by 1 plus e. Again, e will come out to be equals to 2.60 into 1.20 divided by 2 minus of 1 which will come out to be equals to if you calculate it it will come up as 0 0.56 now since we have already got the value of e we can find out gw is equals to se so we'll get the value of s as gw so it's g will be always remember it will be the g of the particles g of the solids okay into w w is 0 0.20 divided by what is known as E, which is 0 0.56, and we'll get the value as 92.8%. So my answer will be C. So everyone, I'll, I'll ask you to solve these questions at home without seeing the equations first, the solution first, then you see the solution where if you don't find, if you find problems in any of these questions, uh, try at home, try to solve problems from different books. If you have got any problem, mail me. My mail ID is headwayacad18 at the rate gmail.com or else comment in the below section. I'll try to solve your problems. Okay, thank you everyone for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe my videos for more updates. Thank you.